Yeah, that sounds like awful high touch. How you how do you scale this human AI hybrid? Yeah, I mean, we have started with a premium product that we think of as akin to the early Uber Black. It is higher human touch, higher skilled people in the early days, and frankly, a lower amount of technology in early days just to learn how people want to work with these human assistants. What does it take to execute effectively for them? It's exactly how Uber started. All of those early black car drivers were, you know, professional chauffeurs licensed by the state or the city with their own cars at a premium price point because they mm -hmm. were higher skilled, higher touch. As Uber learned what it took for people to drive others around the city effectively, in-app navigation, safety mechanisms, things like that, they built a technology platform that allowed lower skilled people to come into the mix and technology to take on more of the burden. And that's exactly what we're doing. So already in the two or so years that we've been operating, we've moved from a model that was, you know, 95% humans, 5% tech, tech to something that's significantly more tech led and lower percent human.